Sloggy and Stu present. Hello, everybody. It's me, Sloggy from the Sloggy Studio Channel, and I'm here for my new series, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. And today is December 1st, officially starting my Christmas countdown thing. I'm just decided to start up. So, 24 days remaining till Christmas Day, 23 till Christmas Eve, I think. Anyways, let's just play this game. And even though there's a fat guy with a beard in the room, it doesn't make Stu Santa Claus. Very funny, Stu. <laughs> yes, Stu is sitting right next to me. Do not tell them what I'm playing. That would be embarrassing for Stu. Um, he is playing... I always like Zoo stories elevator. where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes <laughs> who are living their lives and assume that when I say Zoo Elevator, I was just joking that the game may up. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. Yep, back to the game. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working mm -hmm. together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their Fame just continued yep. to grow as they explored more worlds, Hello, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, yep. plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history yep. as some of the greatest I heroes know. who ever lived. Oh. Oh, uh -huh. Good story, Lu Lucas. What part are we at? No. Am I being awesome? I we thought it was great, <laughs> Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but Anything for it a good might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually I know, do. I it's all know, for a limited time to, to choose. I've played story. season one. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. Okay. It sneaks okay. up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But Remember last time we, we all placed a journal right? on the podium? Yeah, we were all there. Every big choice should For, be uh, added into the anyway. choosing section. That's true. We did it together. Um. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It yeah. is a good note, though. I'll keep Enderman that in mind head. when I'm editing. The Enderman well, costume head, I think that is, from really Soren the Coward. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them. Who has written a ton and then of books. It will finally be done. He might be Man, the fourth old builder. A long time. Jesse, your intern. My intern? Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh. hi, Radar. Wow. The newest character in, here. <laughs> in Olivia, the whole Minecraft Story Mode series, Lucas, Radar! Sorry. Sorry to gonna be the new everyone. enemy. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right oh, right. Awesome. I kinda liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled? If you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Founding day duties? Okay. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And Whoa. I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was really hoping to start in on these revisions. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, oh, thanks, Jesse. Yeah, 
Thanks. Just trying to understand Petra everyone. Will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure. Okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking Plus out of word. the order hall with the order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. Yep. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. Yep. He would have loved it. Over in Redstone, here, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome okay. to catch up with you guys. Totally. Okay. Yeah. This has been great. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Yep. Can't wait. Axel. Sarcasm. I tell you, tell me I about am it. just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Oh, and everybody, town. that's going to be the end of this video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Goodbye.